Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number 41. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook 135, Chapter 5. If you're in the class, just go to our Chapter 5 website. Hey, we've got to talk about deductions, and in particular, the complication that comes when we have payroll deductions with ceilings. Hey, here's a list of some possible deductions. We could have federal income tax withholding, state income tax, FICA tax, hey, that includes Social Security and Medicare, purchase of U.S. saving bonds, and all sorts of other deductions. So what this means is if you have a gross earnings of $500 for the week, you perhaps have a few of these deductions so you don't take out home $500, you take home $400. Let's go to our next sheet tab, gross and net. We have gross pay of that amount and one two taxes and a pension deduction. Let's first add up our total deductions. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Alt equals. It guesses wrong, but no problem. We just redirect it with our cursor, and there we have it. Tab and net pay will be equals, ew, gross, minus our total deductions. Actually, that's not right. It's ew, deductions, because we wish we could take home the to the gross pay. All right, and so then we get a fence, which means, of course, in Excel, uh, the column is not wide enough. Because I so I come up between G and H and double click. <clears throat> now, um, let's go to our next tab. We're going to talk about Social Security, FICA taxes. Actually, we're going to talk about Social Security and Medicare. Now here it is, Social Security. These are taxes levied on employees and employers. Yeah, did you know when you get 100 bucks deducted from your paycheck for Social Security, the employer matches it. So when you get a deduction of 100, $200 shows up in your federal account. So employers have to match. That's one reason why employers have to pay a you know, you think of the wage that the employer has to pay the employee, but the employer has to pay a lot of other expenses from their point of view also. And one of them is the Social Security and Medicare tax. So both have to pay. Proceeds used for um, pension payments after the worker has reached 62. Uh, there's uh, a few exceptions for that. Disability benefits um, and when we're calculating the Social Security amount, we're going to use the percentage, the tax rate, 6.2, but there's a ceiling, 105 bucks. If any of us are lucky to make that much, and of course I'm a teacher, so I never see that much. But if any of us are luck lucky to make more than 105, and actually this number changes regularly, uh, but 105 is the number we're going to use. If you make above this, as soon as you any of your earnings above this 105 are not taxed, everything below are. Most of us are well below this, so we never hit this. All of our earnings are taxed for Social Security. Medicare, federal taxes uh, employees and employers pay, and this is proceeds used for medical insurance for eligible people 65 and over. We're going to calculate Medicare using 1.45%. Um, and self-employed workers, of course, since they are the employer and the employees, they have to pay both sides. All right, let's go and talk about ceilings. That's this right here. Here's um, your name. We're going to put your name here. So I'm going to type your, if only I could type your name. Oh, and the cumulative pay up to this day, not including today's paycheck, is a hundred and three thousand five hundred. So look here, we uh, July, August. So as each month goes along, we've added our current earnings, and currently in December, the cumulative earnings before this paycheck are one thousand a hundred and three thousand five hundred. Yeah, I wish, but oh, your name—that's how much they made up to this day, and their current paycheck is. And I'm going to put uh, two thousand five hundred here. We'll come back to that one thousand five hundred in just a moment. So the trick is, since there's a ceiling, and notice um, here's our earnings accumulating over time. So uh, where you are as you fill up the tank towards the ceiling, that's what I always think. I'm filling up, filling up, filling up, filling up. 
there's the ceiling. As soon as you hit that ceiling, anything above is not taxed. So here we are. There's a cumulative so far. There's our paycheck. We need to add those two numbers up and see if we're below the ceiling, at the ceiling, or above the ceiling. So I'm going to click right here and Alt equals. Okay, so we're adding up those two, and when I hit Enter, watch what happens down here. Enter. Ding, 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 ding. We just went over the hurdle, right? Before we calculated this, we were under the hurdle. Every single bit of these earnings are taxed for Social Security. But the paycheck where you jump over the hurdle, that is the moment where part of your earnings will be taxed and part of them will not be taxed. Then, after that, everything above this are not taxed for Social Security. Let me try that again. Let's type $1,000 here. Now, I'm going to type 1,000. And before I hit Enter, watch down here. I'm going to hit Enter. See, our earnings are still below. So this whole $1,000 is taxed. Again, it's filling up, filling up. As soon as you hit the ceiling, that one paycheck, then you have to worry about this complicated uh, calculation we're going to do. Now, let's try this. Let's try exactly 1,500. Oh, ding, ding, ding. We added these two together, and we got exactly 105. That means we filled up the tank, and we hit right on. That means still that all of that $1,500 is taxed. Let's go back to this 1,000. We're still under. How much of this $1,000 for this current paycheck is taxable? Well, all of it. Let's go back to 1,500. How much of that is taxable? All of it, because we're exactly right on. Now watch this, 1,501. See, now I'm going to start with an easy one so you can see how to calculate this. How much of this paycheck right here is taxable? Well, we went from here up to here up to the 1,500. So 1,500 right here is taxable. That $1 of that is not taxable. Now let's type 2,000. Now how much of it is taxable? Well, we used 1,500 to go from here up to here. And there's $500 that are not taxable. Now let's see how to officially do this. I'm going to put 2,500 here. And so did you up, jump over the ceiling? That is your question. And then we have to calculate how much is taxable. So the, the logic is always this, and this is a true-false formula, equals are our cumulative to date after this paycheck, are they greater than our hurdle? If that is true for this paycheck, that's true. That means only part of. And the question I wrote here was, did you jump over the ceiling? If so, then part of your uh, check is uh, taxable. Now, let's come right here. I'm actually going to scoot this. Zoop. Actually, both of these columns in here, I shouldn't have had that uh, zoop like that. I'm going to click in this D2, and I'm going to type a label here. But let's think about this. How much is tax? Well, we jumped over. Here's where we started. Here was the ceiling. It's the distance between these two. So the way you calculate it, this one paycheck in the year, is you take the ceiling and you subtract whatever your begin cumulative was. So I'm going to put ceiling here. And I'm actually going to put a space and minus there. So that, that's indicating that I have a, a ceiling minus whatever this is. And I'm going to say uh, begin cumulative. That is this amount right here. right? So that will always be our formula for this one paycheck. Now let's see if I can scroll over here and actually in this E column here, whoop, the ceiling, I'm going to say equals this, and then Enter. And the begin cumulative is this, and then Enter. And this will be called taxable earnings. We simply subtract the two. Zip, equals this one minus this one. And that's it. 1,500, not the full paycheck of 2,500. Now let me zoom this out a little bit so we can see this. There it is, ceiling minus begin equals our uh, taxable earnings. And that's only for the one paycheck when you jump over.
Now we're going to go ahead and do three examples of calc using the ceiling idea to calculate our FICA taxes. I'm going to click over on this, clicking on the FICA calculation sheet. And we want to look at three examples, ceiling and FICA taxes. We have Vicky Wise. If I scroll down, I have Tommy Webster. And then finally, we have Arwen. Three examples. Vicky Wise, her week earnings, $958.44. Begin cumulative. This is where all of our earnings so far this year before this paycheck, $32,890. So we have to figure out the end cumulative, the total for the year after this current paycheck. We simply add alt equals enter. Now there's Social Security maximum or ceiling or hurdle, all our synonyms. There's our tax rate for Social Security and tax rate for Medicare. Now we got to figure out the taxable amount for Social Security. Is this N cumulative? Is that greater than this uh, hurdle amount? If that's true, then only part of her earnings are going to be taxable. So we're going to come here. We, you don't have to do this because you can eye this one, but you can always ask Excel to tell you true or false. Equals, is this greater than this? Enter. That's false. So we, we do not have to worry about that complication where we subtract part of it. If you go back over here, remember it's always filling up the tank until you that one paycheck you jump over. If you're here adding, cumul, adding, your, adding your weekly earnings, adding your weekly earnings, and you're still under the ceiling, then the whole thing is taxed. So watch this. Uh, taxable earnings for Social Security equals the whole paycheck. Now we have two different calculations to do for FICA. Social Security, which has a hurdle, or a ceiling, or a maximum, and, and Medicare, which doesn't. All of your earnings, even if you're a millionaire, all of them are taxed for Medicare. So here we're going to do our calculation. Whatever the amount taxable for Social Security times our tax rate equals round, equals round this amount for Social Security taxable times our tax rate. And then, of course, we comma 2. We're rounding to the penny, close parentheses. Enter. Now, we have to do Medicare. Our number is always going to come up here, because this sometimes can be a smaller number, or 0. But for our FICA, we're always going to use that number. I'm sorry, our FICA Medicare. There's two parts to FICA. So our Medicare equals round. The number, oh yeah, that's this, the full earnings, times our tax rate, comma 2, close parentheses. They just happen to be the same this time, right? And actually, most of the time, they are. But the, uh, for the times they're not, it's very important to distinguish. Uh, Medicare is always going to be the whole weekly earnings or, or monthly or whatever the period is. Enter. So there's our two taxes, deductions. Now I'm going to um, scroll down. Let's do Tommy Webster. The week earnings, $4,000. Begin cumulative, $104,500. So we have to add up and cumulative, alt equals. Oh, and look, this one was below the hurdle. This one is above, so this is that one paycheck when we actually have to take just part of the earnings. So for Tom, Tommy here, not all of that 4000 is taxable for the Social Security. All of it is taxable for Medicare. So we could do our little formula here. This assumes that this was under. We say equals. Is our N cumulative greater than this? It says true, so that means for us it's going to be just part. Let's come down here. And just as we saw back over here under ceilings, that one period where you jump over, it's always going to be, oh yeah, the ceiling minus this uh, begin cumulative. So it's the distance between. So for Tommy, it's going to be equals the ceiling amount minus whatever he started at before this paycheck. So it's going to be 500. Now let's do our calculation equals round. This is for Social Security, so we have to use this taxable amount. And this is a lot less than the total paycheck. So that times our rate, comma 2, if we were only as lucky as Tommy to make that much. Oops, I have the wrong 
Zip. I have to click. Look at that. It's got the whole thing totally wrong. It would give me an error if I hit enter. Zip. So it is, let me double check, taxable amount times the proper rate for Social Security, comma 2, and then we'll enter. Now we'll do Medicare equals round. And it's always going to be the full amount, so the whole amount for Tommy here, no matter what, times. And we get our rate right here, 1.45%, comma 2, close parentheses, enter. So $31 for Social Security, $58 for Medicare. All right, let's scroll down here, Arwen. Wow, look at that. Week earnings only $1,050. She only must have worked an hour or something. But begin cumulative, $175,000. Wow. Anyway, we still have to add it up. Alt equals. Uh, we already can see way over the top. So we don't even have to worry about that. We're just way over the top. So we come down here. Taxable earnings, none. None of this is taxable for Social Security because she already started before this paycheck even happened well above. So I'm going to put a zero here. Social Security, can I put a zero? Yeah, I can put a zero there because she's done for the year. What is that right there? Let's click there, control one, it's accounting. Accountants like to put little dashes instead of a zero. So I'm going to go click currency. So I can put a, a zero there, 0, 0.00. Now finally, one last calculation. We always have to um, collect for Medicare. Always going to be the full amount of the paycheck, weekly, monthly, or whatever, times the rate, comma two, close parentheses, enter. All right, so that's a little bit about uh, deductions, the ceilings, and we looked at the FICA deductions. There's one last one. This is kind of an estimation, uh, just, just like this one. By the way, this changes often, so uh, this could change next year, and it would be a slightly, uh, presumably, higher number. Uh, disability deduction. Here's some estimates. Some, sometimes some states have a deduction, so from your paycheck, you'll get uh, a disability insurance deduction. So uh, we're going to assume 1%, and the ceiling is 31800 It's the same type of situation. We have to add the earnings to date, or begin cumulative, to the weekly earnings. Alt equals. Oh, look at that. We went over the hurdle this pay period. So the taxable amount, it's always going to be that in that one pay period where you jump over the hurdle, over the maximum, over the ceiling, equals the ceiling amount minus where we started. Right? So this is where we started before this paycheck. Enter. So only $800 are taxable. So equals round the taxable earnings times, and we get our rate comma, two, close parentheses, enter. You know, I'm going to triple check here. Sometimes when I see that 1%, I get nervous. I'm going to control 1 and go to percentage. And I'm, I'm going to increase the decimal. Oh, OK, that's better. That makes me feel better. There's two decimal places. All right, um, so those are deduct a couple of deductions, mainly concentrating on how that ceiling works. And when we come back, we'll talk about uh, income withholdings, federal income tax. All right, see you next video.